Classic Tales, Arabian Nights. The Second Old Man and the Two Black Dogs. As the first old man's tale reaches its conclusion, the second old man steps forward, his voice steady but filled with underlying emotion. Beside him, two black dogs sit quietly, their eyes reflecting a human sadness. These dogs, he begins, are my brothers, transformed by magic and malice. The second old man begins by recounting the familial bonds and initial prosperity they once shared. Each brother inherited 1,000 sequins from their father. Driven by ambition and the desire to increase his wealth, the eldest brother sold all his possessions and ventured abroad in search of merchandise. However, his journey was fraught with misfortune, and he returned a beggar exactly one year later. Moved by his plight, he welcomed his brother into his home and, seeing his business flourishing and having doubled his initial fortune, generously gave him another 1,000 sequins to aid in his recovery. Inspired yet misguided by the same ambitions, the middle brother followed in the eldest's footsteps some time later. He too sold all his possessions and left to make his fortune abroad. Like the eldest, he returned destitute one year later. The second old man extended the same kindness to him, providing shelter and another 1,000 sequins to help him restart his life. As time passed, both brothers persuaded him to join them on a new venture. He initially refused his brother's request to join them, remembering the failures of their previous journeys. Despite his reservations, his brothers were persistent, continually urging him to reconsider until he finally relented. By this time, through prudent investments and hard work, he had amassed a fortune of 6,000 sequins. However, it was only during the preparations that he discovered his brothers had already squandered the money he had previously given them. To ensure fairness and to support the venture, he divided 1,000 sequins among each of them, while secretly burying 3,000 sequins in the corner of his house for safekeeping. The trio then sailed to a distant port, where their trading proved successful, and they managed to double the investments made with the distributed funds. While preparing to return home from their successful trades, he was approached by a poorly dressed but strikingly beautiful woman. She implored him to marry her, promising to be a devoted and good wife. Moved by her plea and her apparent sincerity, he agreed and provided her with a beautiful dress to mark their new beginning together. As they sailed back, he discovered that she was indeed a remarkable woman endowed with qualities that made him love her deeply and appreciate her more each day. Her intelligence, kindness, and grace only increased his affection, solidifying their bond. Unbeknownst to him, his brothers grew increasingly jealous of his continued prosperity and the affection he shared with his new wife. Their envy deepened as they observed her virtues, which contrasted starkly with their own misfortunes. Consumed by bitterness, they began to plot against him, scheming in the shadows of the ship as they neared their homeland. One dark night, they threw him and his wife into the sea. Miraculously, his life was spared by his wife's magic, revealing her true nature as a fairy. Instead of sinking, they landed on a nearby island. She confessed that she had initially disguised herself and married him to test his character, having taken a fancy to him from their first encounter. However, her demeanor changed as she expressed her fury towards his brothers for their treacherous act. Despite her anger, he pleaded fervently for their lives, arguing that revenge would not undo the wrong. 
Moved by his pleas and her affection for him, she agreed to spare them, but not without consequence. After that, the fairy transported him safely back to his house. He dug out the 3,000 sequins he had cleverly hidden before their ill-fated journey and used them to reopen his shop. His business began to flourish once again, restoring the stability that his adventures had disrupted. One day, upon returning home from his shop, he later discovered two black dogs with sorrowful faces. The fairy reappeared, revealing them to be his brothers, cursed to spend 10 years in canine form as punishment for their treachery. She instructed him where he might find her after 10 years, then vanished. Now, a decade later, the old man was on his way to reunite with his fairy wife when he encountered the merchant and the first old man with the hind. Moved by the story of loyalty, betrayal, and redemption. The genie pardoned another third of the merchant's life. Inspired by the outcome, the third old man stepped forward, eager to tell his tale, which ultimately led to the merchant's full pardon, which Shasherazad admitted she didn't know what the story is. Shasherazad, having woven this tale through the night, tells the Sultan that the next story she will tell is even more extraordinary, hinting at wonders yet to come. <laughs>